Hi, welcome to my video blog today about force pounds juggling. I'm um, really excited. This is my second time. I'm going to try to make this uh, even shorter, have more videos, and maybe a little more sp speaking of what I see. The first clip here, I just want to show you in the beginning of the in in the beginning of my workout, I warm up uh, physically, and I also try to warm, which in, which um, includes being able to see accurately, being able to get my arms working. Um, well, which means I have to get a certain amount of speed and force into them. Um, this first pattern that I'm doing, you see, is a is a seven ball force bounce pattern. It's something that I warm up with every, almost every time. I might start with a fractional version of it, like a five or six ball version to get the rhythm, but I'm very quickly within the first four or five minutes, the first set of balls, I have 29 balls hanging on a hook so that I don't have to keep picking them up and I have a bin to hold them in. Um, this um, this is a run, um, you know, 100 plus catches or so. I do that for about 15 or 20 minutes, trying to get the runs up to around three, 400 catches, which is a minute plus run. Uh, really warms up your forearms, being able to open your hands. Um, you know, gets your gets your breathing. For me, it also um, because the platform I'm standing on is 32 inches high. It really requires an accurate throw. So it's timing throw. Muscles are warmed up. Uh, you get a sense of what getting the balls literally warmed up, they bounce a little bit better. You get a sense of the lighting, you get um, you know, everything running. So after that, you can see I've shifted to a little different part of the room. This is now I'm up on the balancer. Um, and that's, um, that's the 8-inch pretty tall roller, and that's on top of another 9-inch platform. So I'm about 18 inches off the ground. Um, there I'm working a fractional pattern in order to get up to a seven ball version of that bouncing and balancing. Um, and I'm just listening for the rhythm and I'm trying to get both hands symmetrical. Again, I'm working on getting a constant height, a, a, a consistent height. I spend probably about um, 25 minutes doing seven ball force bounce on the balance. And then this is um, a little break I took going in the other room where there were people to talk to and I'm warming up a double roller balance, which is really what I was going to work on tonight, catching some double roller patterns. And um, here I'm using two pretty big rollers, a six inch and an eight inch roller, so I'm up 18 inches off the ground. And my goal was simply to get comfortable with it. Um, you notice another thing is I've got the cage I built around me for safety and I got my helmet on. Now I'm back in the um, uh, in the pen where I catch all my bouncy balls so they don't roll away. And my thought was nobody has a um, three ball, just a regular juggling pattern on double rollers. I might as well put something up on the board. So I started the first run was 33, 34 catches as far as I know. Um, wasn't long enough so I did a longer run. Now you'll see this is 114 catches I think. We'll check it later. Um, uh, you can see just how much activity there is on the two rollers that I'm balancing on. I'm actively spotting the floor while I'm looking through my pattern. There's a couple of times where I'm shifting my body around so much to stay balanced that a ball will sort of move sideways or vertically or away from me like six inches in order for me to catch it. I was trying to break 120 catches, which is the uh, club catching record. Uh, I got only 114, but it's close enough. I thought it was good enough for a start. Okay, so now it was time to work on force bounce patterns. Um, and I went back to try and uh, get a better, cleaner video of a four ball force bounce pattern on a balance. The record that I set earlier in the week was um, 24 catches of this. This time I got up to 34 catches, I think, yep. Um, and um, it's better lighting, it's, better, it's a better run. I thought it was good to add it. Okay, I thought I'd throw in, there was a little bit of an experiment. Um, I was feeling fairly comfortable at the double balance, and I wanted to just see if I could do another ball than anything else I'd run, so I set up with the seven balls. So in the beginning of the, of the night, I had seven balls from an elevated pattern. I came down to a lower pattern on the bench. I got on the roller and did it with a balance and seven balls. And now I'm doing a double roller and trying seven balls. And all I've got is two fails. I didn't get even a flash. This first run was four. And if you take a look at the next run, I'm really close. I'm showing it to you at one third speed so you get a sense of everything that's going on because there's a lot going on. Um, I'm trying to get comfortable with where the floor is. 
I want the floor to be in the middle of my frame um, when I throw it and you'll see I just managed to catch the sixth ball and missed the seventh ball and in force pound struggling you only have to touch it um, this next pattern is um, a, a little exercise that I do I, I, I was you know being unhappy with that I decided I'd go back into a better six ball pattern um, there's a there's a training exercise to do with the double roller which is you got to get your hands in front and not involved in the balance anymore so I put them in front like a, a Qigong pattern. I'm trying to focus through my hands at the floor in the spot. And I'm trying to leave my hands gimbaled and in exactly the same position as though they were the basis for throwing. And that's what this little pattern is. And then the last thing I'm showing you is actually uh, the best run of the night, which was I took the six ball, force bounce, double balance pattern, which is now I went from the smaller rollers up onto a six inch and a four inch combination, which puts me up about 12 inches off the ground. I made, I managed to, to touch the 14th pair, which is 36 catches, before I, the whole thing slid sideways into my uh, railings. Um, thanks for watching. I uh, hope to see you soon.